Oh, uh, hello. Pardon me. Did did I take your seat? I apologize. Um, I'm just sitting here reading the the latest volume of uh, Kenneth Security and Scientia Institute's um, Prediction to Prioritization series. It's actually the eighth volume of this incredible research series. Um, it's really interesting. I mean, if you want to come come join me, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, y you might be wondering why I'm sitting here enjoying a nice cut glass of uh, V8. Well, we call this series P2P. This is volume eight, so this is affectionately known as P2P V8. Uh, and like V8, it's actually packed full of nutrients that are great for the performance of your vulnerability management program. Uh, in fact, we found that there are things that programs can do that uh, maximize their effectiveness and, and increase it by 29x. I mean, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Um, well, uh, if you want to know more, I would say sit, sit around. I'll pour you a glass of V8, and, uh, and I'll let my colleague Jay Jacobs tell you a little bit more about this incredible report. Oh, hello. Thank you for joining, man. Please pardon my colleague. We've spent so much time working on the data and the content that he accidentally misstated the name. The name of the report is Prioritization to Prediction, Volume 8. But after all, what's in a name? Does a rose by any other name not smell as sweet? All right, let's get right into the content then. As mentioned, this is volume eight of a series of publications that we've done with Kenneth Security, looking at vulnerabilities, the, the management, the way they occur, the timelines, the role of vendors and remediation. Um, we spent a lot of time doing survival analysis on the remediation, and all of these reports are available through Kenna Security, uh, and some really great reading, if I do say so myself. There, there's a couple of plots that I want to dive into here and, and just talk about real quick. One is that we dove into this notion of capacity, and this particular chart is looking at observed vulnerabilities that a, a company has open in a month versus how many they're actually closing. And when we look at this, what we see is about 15% uh, is the median, the, the straight middle 50% are closing less than 15% uh, of their vulnerabilities per month and 50% half the companies are closing more. Each blue dot here is a real life organization and we're looking at their real vulnerability scan data over time trying to get a sense of what's being remediated and how. The final chart I just want to touch on real quick is that we looked at strategies and we, we computed an exploitability score that we go into in the, in the report. And we looked at different strategies and the computer and exploitability score for the vulnerabilities we saw open. And then we ran simulations where if we said, hey, if we apply, say, CVSS, how would that reduce the overall exploitability score that we're calculating here? And we go into detail. Exploitability is based on EPSS, which is an emerging standard trying to, to look at forecasts, uh, something being exploited uh, in the first year of publication right now. Uh, and we just looked at these different strategies and found out, but there's a lot more in this report. We go into a lot more detail. I think we're looking at over, over 20, 20 plots, I think. Uh, 20 different figures looking at different aspects of remediation, the timeline, the exploitability, measuring that and trying to minimize that overall and the tactics. So I hope you go download the report, take a look at it and enjoy.